Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. In today's video, I want to talk about disk on a chip. Um, so if you've been following my videos, you know that I've recently made this V40 card with the memory included with a vacant slot right here. I've also made my standard memory card for my project with the same vacant slot there. So you can use this with an 8088. So the way that this is mapped out, um, the pin uh, mapping on the vacant slot is pin compatible with another ROM, um, and it's at address E0000. Um, if you take a, a RAM here, um, like this 128 here, and plug it here, the pin compatibility is not correct to do that. So this was designed for either two ROMs or a disk on a chip. What this does is it allows you to boot a system from uh, the chip, basically. Now, I have two of them, but it turns out one of them's bad. So I was going to demo how I did this with the uh, second chip so I could start from scratch, and I'm not going to be able to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have to kind of recreate what I did to make this work. Um, I did look, there's a YouTube video out there on this. If you search disk on chip, it, you'll come right across it. And I'm just kind of following along with what that guy did. I'll put some links in the description on where the tools came from and uh, to the other YouTube video as well. So, so what, what was happening was, so this is just the standard BIOS. It uses the... Uh, the USB, um, and then this uses the uh, BIOS extension to mount itself. And uh, what was happening was I was booting up, and it was just stopping when it got to this uh, this chip here. And I, I'm thinking that's because it was uh, set up for probably something other than an 8088. So following the instructions on the other YouTube video, what I had to do was boot this, and then hot plug this in without crashing the system. And then I was able to upload the um, firmware for the 8088. So I'm gonna go ahead and demo how I went about that now. And then we'll talk about how to install DOS and all that on there. So over here, I've got my, my system set up. Let's get the camera turned. So we'll just go ahead and plug this in. I'll plug it in the second slot. Give me a little bit of room to reach in there. Let's see. Uh, just let it boot up to DOS. And this is free DOS. It works with MS-DOS too. Okay, it's booted up at the command prompt. And I'm going to try to plug this in without bumping the camera or crashing the system. Because you're plugging right into the active address lines and data lines. So that did not take. So I have to pop that back out. And we'll try again. If it doesn't work this time, I'll uh, just boot it up within there because it's already fixed so that it'll boot up. Um, and we'll just pretend it worked. All right, it's booting free DOS. We'll plug in the uh, chip. Okay, we were successful that time. Now, none of the firmware loaded, it didn't mount, but it is plugged in to address E00. So I'm gonna zoom in here and see if we can get 
at least a somewhat clear screen there. Now, on my free BIOS here, you can see I got C, D, and E. That's just partitions on that USB drive. It has nothing to do with the disk on chip. But E drive is where I put my utilities. So sit DIR here. And you can see what we're looking for is that DUP uh, update. That, And so we're going to just type it in. So DUP D-A-T-E, and then you're going to want to do, I'm going to use my cheat sheet over here, you're going to want forward slash win E-0-0-0 for the address, because it's not mounted, and then you're going to want to put in, this is the, the boot image basically that mounts it, and we're going to do D-O-C- Actually, I'm in the wrong folder here. I skipped a step. We need to go to the 8086 folder. So, DUP date when E000 forward slash um, S D O c42.086 and that and that file dot 4286 is in the uh 8086 directory there and like i said i'll leave a link in the description where i downloaded this particular uh, set of utilities it's kind of a pain to find so now we just hit enter and uh i don't know if i, I might have missed something here It says W is not the drive. Oh, yeah. So when colon like so. Okay. So now it says driver not loaded using direct access. And uh, it takes a second right of the boot image. There you go. Now it's good to go. Now, this will boot on an 8088. So if you if you plug yours in and it'll boot right up, then you don't have to do this step. But if you're like me and plugged it in and it didn't boot up, then this step you have to do. Now, what we need to do is we need to have a floppy drive. And I need to disable the USB boot, um, which has to be done on the ROM. So... We'll go ahead and we'll just shut this down. Um, so for the USB boot, let me get it loaded up over here. So I'm going to turn my camera over to my other screen. So this is my EEPROM burner. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, open our, our code for our EEPROM, and I use my universal. And in this one, because I'm writing to a 64K ROM, I need to put the offset, because it's a 32K image, put the offset at 8000, and now that loads in here. And you can see all Fs, and then right here at 800, you got 55AA, this is where the beginning of the USB boot is. And so we want to change that, and we'll just make it F, 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 F. And then that will not um, initialize the USB. So then I just plug my EEPROM into my burner here, and I'm going to write that to the EEPROM. 
see this takes good and any errors now there you go we're ready to we're ready to now install dos on our disk on chip because it will not boot from a usb but it needs to boot from a floppy drive so i'm going to have to I'm going to pause the video here. I'm going to get resituated on my 8088 that has a floppy drive. So, okay, so we're over here at my 8088 that has a floppy drive. Um, I've got the disk on chip and the new uh, ROM that's got the USB disabled on my ROM card here, memory card. And we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and boot it up. Um, I actually just tried this. I had to start over with the uh, V40 and uh, I was having issues. So I just went ahead and did it with my 8088. Now I, I've been asked and criticized about not having screen capture software, but uh, or hardware, but you're just gonna have to bear with me today because I haven't got any of that yet. So let's see if we get this to boot. Booting from the uh, floppy drive. Uh, one thing I forgot to do before we changed the whole EEPROM and all that was uh, there was a command called dformat that was in those tools. And I typed that the first time I did this to format the disk on chip. And it, um, you know, just erased or whatever was on there already. So Anyway, so here we are. We're booted up. We should be able to go to our C drive, no problem. I've got a sticky key. And this has got the uh, stuff on there I put on there before I made the video. And we're going to go ahead and just completely scrap it and start over. So go back to A drive. Uh, sticky keys. Um, so you get when you get secondhand keyboards. Um, so we'll go F disk. Let's see what, what that gives us here. See if this even works. I've never even tried this. So let's just delete. Let's delete the partition. I'll delete the primary. Uh, eight megabytes. And uh, we'll just click. And actually, so let's not repartition this. I was thinking that it was uh, 800 megabytes. I don't know why I was misthinking. So we'll leave it eight megabytes is fine. So we'll just cancel this. You can see F just shows you the partitions and that. So we'll we'll format uh, C colon how to spell it right. Uh, we'll proceed. So you don't. Uh, you don't necessarily need to use that D format that I used the first time. Uh, you could definitely use your DOS tools to set this up. Format complete. And we'll just call this DOS. And then um, we'll go sys. And I know there's shortcuts to do this quicker, but sys C colon. And keep in mind, my USB drive is still plugged in. It's just not active. It was never initialized when we booted up the system. So there should be an ability to write the code to, uh, to work with both. Uh, the disk on chip and the USB. Might need to look into that. All right, so system transferred. That should be all we need to do. Let's just go to C drive real quick. DIR, command.com. Let's just go A drive. Well, let's just copy one more file. Debug. Ah, got to put a destination. So, copy that over, and then uh, we'll reset the system here. And I'm going to do a hard reset so that we're not, so everything's out of memory. And uh, we'll eject the floppy drive. Now, something here, counting up the memory, it seems to stop at 609 for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure why, with the disk on chip in there. Without it, it goes to six, uh, 640K, no problem. So, 
no drive noise. It's booting right from uh, the C drive. Just enter, enter, and there you go. We are at the C drive, and this is off that uh, disk on chip. So anyway, um, just kind of a quick look at it. Um, and uh, that's kind of what that extension slot that I put on on the board was for is for the disk on chip or another ROM uh, so you can put more code on there. But so. anyway, thanks for checking out my video today.